beloved Pillar community, I hope you're, you're well as we've been launched from Christmas tide into the not so ordinary current circumstances of ordinary time. I'm eager to continue to participate in God's purposes in our lives in the Pillar community and around the world with you. My heart was captured during Advent and Christmas tide by these words from Zechariah as they're recorded in the Gospel of Luke. The dawn from on high will break upon us, giving light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. For the last 10 months or so, I've been hanging my spirit on the hooks of Psalm 62. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall never be shaken. I'm not going to take those away from our life quite yet, but I would like to add these from Zechariah. The dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Zechariah anticipating his son John who would point to the greater son Jesus the dawn from on high will break upon us I want you with me to keep your heart ready and your eyes open for the dawn from on high to break in for the light to shine into the darkness whatever version of darkness it is you know or we experience together the light is breaking in in some very practical ways for us. I wanted you to be aware of some of the new rhythms we'll begin to participate in at Pillar this new year. Uh, we'll begin meeting in-person worship this Sunday, January 10 at 9 and 11 at Pillar. We'll also continue the Pray, Walk, Bless practice at 10 o'clock that will be launched from the warehouse on 6th Street. So those who would prefer not to worship inside but would still like to gather uh, with a community can meet at the warehouse on 6th Street and from there walk and pray to bless our community. Anyone who's worshiping with Pillar at 9 and 11, of course, is also welcome to be a part of that. The next several months are going to be uh, very interesting. Vaccines are making their way into our community. Public health professionals, doctors, nurses have already begun to receive the first round of vaccination. Some will get the second round already this Friday. Uh, others soon will get more. And all of that's going to prompt a desire for more freedom, more space, more opportunity and which will come then with more pressure in some ways. So I want to invite all of us together, even as we move our way into 2021 together. Let's, let's claim the words of Zechariah, waiting for his son, pointing to the greater son, Jesus. The dawn from on high will break upon us, giving light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, guiding our feet into the way of peace. Let's let the dawn from on high break upon us. Let's keep our eyes open for the dawn breaking, for the light shining, guiding us into the way of peace. Let's be that community together. The peace of Christ be with you, friends.